In this video we are going to show our new smart object. This time this is a helper that can move your objects on top of a terrain or other geometry. First we need to merge the helpers from a file that you can download from the video description or from our website. Once the objects are merged into our scene we can start using them. These objects are simple editable spline objects and both of them have the same functionality but different appearance. You can modify the look of these nodes by editing the spline as any other 3ds max editable spline. Moving on with smart functionality. We'll use this object to affect this group of trees, and the one on the left to affect the other group of trees. To link the trees to the smart object first select the group of nodes that you want to control. Then press the button select and link in the main toolbar and link the selection to the parent smart object. I'll do the same for this group of trees, but I'll link them to the other smart object. Now if I move any one of the smart helpers, its children will move with it. The last thing that we need to do is to position the trees on top of the terrain and make sure that they are above it. Then with the smart object selected, in the modify panel, I'll open smart object properties rollout. And press move to terrain button. As we can see with one single click all the trees are positioned on top of the terrain. If we want our trees to be slightly below it, we can do that by adjusting the surface offset parameter and press the button above again. With positive values we can move the trees above the terrain surface and with value of zero we can go back from where we started. Let's repeat these steps with the other group of trees. To quickly select them double click on the smart object helper and then remove the helper from the selection. Move the trees. Position them above the terrain. Select the parent. And press move to terrain button. When for some reason we need to change the terrain, like this for example. We can reposition the trees with a couple of clicks. We can use as many groups of objects as we need, by copying any existing smart helper. If we want, we can even change its appearance. This way in a few seconds we have new smart object that we can use. I'll unhide my third group of plants. Position them on top of the terrain. And link them to the third smart object by pressing select and link main toolbar button. Then in Smart Object Properties Rollout press the button to move the affected objects. With the Surface Offset parameter I'll move all small plants closer to the ground. If any of the tree is cloned, the link between the new one and the Smart Helper remains. If we press move to terrain button we'll see that the two new trees are moved accordingly. To verify which objects are linked to the smart helper simply double click on the parent. Then you can reposition the trees to different location or even make more copies of them.
Now if I press move to terrain button we will see that all trees are positioned correctly except the ones that have no geometry below them. These trees are automatically selected. We can delete selected objects or we can move them on top of the terrain. And move them to the correct position. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know in the comments below what other types of smart objects you want to see. Please share this video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when we have new products or new updates for Avis Studio Tools.